freaking starving, bro. I want to order food. Hey, I want to order to pick up one large pie with pepperoni. Yeah. Give me two, two slices lasagna. Yep. Yeah. yeah um, can you put a double cheese on it? Yeah. Do you have a hot dog? Yes, yes. I have two hot dogs too. Yeah. I'm just finished the train. What the f you are you, bro? Just a second. Yes, yes. Ah. Two, two double cheese burger too. You want it? I don't eat that crap, man. I mean, pizza with pepperoni? The f hot dog? No. I thought you told me you have to eat. Yo, you're gonna have the worst sh in the worst shape of your life, man. Like, just order plain pizza, or let's just order a healthy f***ing burger or something. I don't know. Yeah? What 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 kind of the burger? No cheese, man? A burger. F***ing hot dog, you know, you know what the f*** they put in that sh**. I love lasagna, man. Lasagna, hot dog, yo. Are you gonna be home the whole weekend and shit in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome back to Generation Nine Podcast. Your host, Victor Martinez, along here with Esan Farahi, Vlad Yudin, and Edwin Mejia. I almost called you Melvin. That's one of my uh, first training partners. <laughs> he's Mejia, too. Melvin, Melvin. Oh, he's Mejia, too. Yeah, Melvin. yeah, exactly. Oh, There's a few Mejias out there. Yes, yes. Again, <laughs> thank you for joining us. And what are the topics uh, we're starting with today, Edwin? Oh man! Well, last week we had a great, you know, topic. TRT it was a hot one. I think people were very excited to hear about that because there's a lot of, lot of bad information out there, and you know, young kids really on TikTok and other platforms learning about TRT at a very young age, and steroids and drug use. But that being said, that led us to another topic, which was Cialis on a topic and using Cialis as a pre-workout. Mm -hmm. Oh, Viagra. You know, oh. <laughs> it's a big topic, too, because a lot of information out there about it increasing athletic performance. And I guess, Vic, in your opinion, I mean, I know you worked with quite a few people and I've you know some that people before. that have probably used it. Yeah, they have. For pre-workout, does it really work for pre-workout? Is it effective? And does it improve athletic performance? Um, it, it affects, uh, you know, many other things. <laughs> but, uh, yes, I have used it before. Not Viagra. Cialis, 2.5. There's a difference you know, it's, between it's, Viagra and Cialis. Difference. Well, Viagra, I mean, you know, you don't want to get a heart attack in the middle of your workout. You know, <laughs> get an unnecessary pump somewhere else. <laughs> it's just, uh, it, I guess it's too strong, too much. And, and it's just, uh, you know, they're both the vasodilator, which has the same effect as NO2, uh, nitrous oxide. So when... Guys, you know, who started taking the uh, Cialis, they noticed, hey, man, I'm getting a pump. I think uh, uh, Muscular Development did a, uh, a story on this and started experimenting and using. That's what bodybuilders do. They, they, they do it and, uh, and it works, actually. So how does it work? Well, again, it creates blood flow. To but it's supposed the, to be, blood flow is supposed to go to, to... Yeah, if you get aroused, it goes directly, you know, right. to your penis. But, oh, if you're not aroused, then it goes somewhere else. Yeah, if you're not aroused, oh, then you're working okay. out. And again, <clears throat> when you're talking about the 2.55 that you can use on a daily, unlike the uh, 20 of Viagra, which, you know, headaches, you know, you don't want to go blind in the middle of your workout either. You know, using <laughs> it by some side effects. Yeah. It's, it's a kind of the, uh, like a um, uh, nitric oxide. You yeah, say? yeah, nitric oxide. And it's the actually. The, uh, so, the, does it give you energy or does it give you the blood no, flow to no. fill yeah, up? Not a pre workout. It's more like a, a workout. Like a tribulus, assist. kind of like a tribulus. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's more like. You, a, you, you give more pump. But uh, come on, Victor. You think bodybuilder should be taking the 
such a thing, Cialis or Viagra? I mean, if you're a teenager, stay away from it. If you're in your 20s, you really don't need it. You know, we, we're talking about no, usually... No, as a pre-worker, as a pre-worker. I mean, we, we have so much... I mean, as a so supplement. Wanna, as a supplement. You want to feel like a machine, right? Like, no. you want to go to the gym and then you want to perform at home and you want to... But, man, my point Kill two birds with one stone, yeah, you know? So have you, a good workout see, and I smash can, at home. Like, I can see the value. <laughs> yeah. I can see the value to that, right? If you go to the gym and all of a sudden hey, you hey. do, like... It's a win-win situation. We have so much So many supplements. Actual supplements. Again, you can get a uh, nitric oxide and O2. Yeah, nitric oxide is perfect. Yes. Nitric oxide is exactly. good enough, has the yeah. effects, and you don't need to be walking around Cialis. And especially, uh, I think when I was, uh, when I did use it, I believe it was for one show, the last Arnold I, I did, and uh, my wife found it. She'd be like, What is this? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? And and right away they go south on the whole you know thought process of why you have it and, uh, <laughs> and, and what you said. And I said, I use it on you. That's why you're still here. <laughs> well, I no. guess I guess you lose, that's a lose lose situation because if you say you lose it, you use it on her, yeah, she'll get again. upset. And then if you don't you say, say that, you still look bad because you, who else are you using it on, right? No. And again, I told her guys use this to work out. You know. <laughs> they should believe you. She didn't believe me, of course not, you know. But, <laughs> but you know, I got rid of it, and I so, told him, "Listen, I'm not getting this for you anymore." This is this is very old traditional method for bodybuilder, which is that moment in time they don't have nitric oxide. But right now we have we have I mean five different pumpage nitric oxide before workout. Yes. Mm -hmm. We don't have we don't need such a these. Those well, things. there's no. a lot of uh, proof and evidence out there and research that I've read that says it helps sustain blood flow blood flow, right? Yes. Which helps sustain endurance and increase endurance. So there's a lot of information that leads that to leads to the positive aspects of using. Again, if you're older, yeah, it right. does have benefits. Let's say you're in your forties, fifties, you know, it's good for your prostate. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's course. helpful for prostate. It release your, your prostate. But uh, if you have a prostate problem, yeah, it's like you are see there, the commercials. Like did you have any bad side yeah. effects taking Cialis? You mentioned headaches, or is it only Viagra? I mean, uh, Viagra, uh, they both have kind of the close same, uh, you know, side effects. Mm -hmm. But I think Cialis is a bit more safer. You know, mm -hmm. there's like fogginess. I heard like you know like yeah. because the dosage for Cialis is right. very low. I mean, Viagra I started with twenty fifteen. I think it goes to two hundred. Yes. Wow. Yes, wow. I mean, all but the stories. Cialis, Cialis started with 2.5, I think. Yes, 2.5. I mean, the stories, the horror stories I heard about a man being caught or dying in a hooker's bed is usually was <laughs> Viagra. It was never Cialis. Oh, I see. Yeah, is it yeah. happening? Is that, is it's really happened? happened, yes. I've, you can die in bed? You die by overperforming. That's happened yes. more often. <laughs> yeah, that's happened more often than we think. In fact, yes. Vlad and I have been involved in conversations with bodybuilders that have told us that they do some sort of injection. That's a whole different. That's yeah. a whole different topic. Yeah, that's a whole but whole but that is essentially true. like a like a. That, uh, for that, we'll have to bring in one of our uh, you know porn actors from California. <laughs> right, right, right. To kind of give an insight. It's, it's like they're that injection, injection, it's like injecting Viagra in directly. It's, it's actually here. worse. It's like that injection. Right. You don't have to be aroused. It's right. an automatic hard on basically. Automatic, I think. And there's just, nothing you can do to bring it down. Yeah, that's kind of rough. For I like mean, 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they're not natty either, you know. <laughs> Definitely not natty. So to wrap Nat this topic, so to wrap this up, right? Would you recommend uh, Cialis uh, for bodybuilders? I would not recommend it. Again, there's a lot of healthier, better alternatives. Um, these are guys who just going extreme, you know, just kind of mm -hmm. like Cialis, where you could get, you know, NO2 supplements. And then there's, you know, fat burning, you know, you can use mm -hmm. a, a, a fat burner. A lot of guys go with these extreme fat burning uh, drugs, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. can burn your organs and, mm -hmm. and all that DMP and all that stuff. Oh, you know, I heard about that. There's always a, an extreme and there's always a healthier alternative. We should talk about the DMP as a separate. Yeah, I heard some a, yeah, crazy things about that. Well, I have, I have a question for Victor. Bodybuilders <clears throat> very worried about sex during the week how many times i mean you know more than hundreds of people ask me how many times should we have sex mm. during a week 
three times, sure five times, six times, ten times, wow. or none? I mean, how is it effect? Is it effect if for, you get ready for a competition? Is yeah? it a, yeah? Is it effect for? Question. Is it effect for building muscle? Because boxers they don't have sex a month before the fight, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, athletes, yeah. But, but yet Tio would have you know orgies and still have you know two sacks the next day huh. in his football game. So it varies from person to person. The uh, the athleticism afterwards may you be weaker maybe you know maybe not again it's just one of those things that uh, one of those myths but it can affect one person more than the other again it depends are you doing a marathon fucking session you know or just <laughs> you know ha- you know having a, a quickie you know so it varies it depends you know but if you want to have a good workout you you want to definitely just kind of go to the gym fully loaded. No sex before the <laughs> no sex before the gym. Yeah, no you don't want to go there wasted, you know. But uh, <laughs> would it affect you tremendously? I mean, you're not gonna do your PR best. <laughs> what they do if they get horny? What they do if they get horny? A bodybuilder in the middle of the workout and they have one. I mean, you work out. You're gonna release one month before show. Anyways, one gonna- month before show. He get horny. What you one do? month? What no, you do? that's one month. Come on, he's talking about like a day month, before. You know, day before. <laughs> day before. I mean, I did it before a powerlifting meet, and yes, I did not perform my best lift. <laughs> 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 How do you? I mean, that's my answer. No. Yeah, so that's actually a great question. I never actually. Before so many, so many people I mean, ask me. I'm definitely, yeah, they ask you yeah. too. How many times we should oh, have yeah. sex if we are in the cycle? Is it waste if you have sex or not? This is the this is the topic everyone yeah. talks. I mean, especially the young people. You know? Well, Vic said before when you in prep, you're not even in the mood for sex. Usually, you're not in the mood depending how much you're, you're outputting in the gym, how much right. cardio you're doing. You right, know, right, right. Um, again, you're, you're loaded on so much stuff that yeah. you know it's not really going to make a difference. But again, when you're so focused. You're not really thinking about it, but will you? Can you do it? Of course, man. Come on, that's you're taking test. I mean, just gonna have to. You said Deca uh, is the that thing that hurts. I mean, Deca again, prolonged use, prolonged use. But Deca is not as bad as trying again. Guys will argue it. They'll say no, no, no. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, keep doing it, and you'll see. You know, and again, that's I consider trying the crack of steroids. You know, yeah, it is. Want to use that? Go the ahead. The crack of steroids. The crack. Wow. Yes. The it crack, is the crack of, steroids. of steroids. Wow. They destroy. Wow. <laughs> wow. But I mean, right now it's very popular because, you know. It's popular because it's crack. It's fast. It's quick. Yeah. Mm. But uh, you crack. Do you, feel hard, the re- do you feel the results immediately? Uh, you th- yes. Allegedly. Yeah, it's fast less than one week. Wow. Less than one week. Less than one week. You, see, you feel hardness. So you like body. it. It's addicting because of the quick effects. Mm. You know, but you cannot, you cannot on it for a long time. More than 40 days, 30 days. And again, and then, but, but, your liver, it start, it start to damage it for your liver. It's very, very <clears> dangerous <throat> and direct damage in the liver. Specifically... So let's let's switch subject for a second. So we spoke about the Cialis, Cialis Viagra. We spoke about uh, Deca, but let's talk about the f- five or maybe more. But let's limit to five over-the-counter supplements, and that, in your opinion, bodybuilder absolutely needs. They can't be bodybuild without it. In your opinion, we can limit it to five, like five, because there's so many supplements in the market, right? There's it's like a lot, yeah. hundreds of products. But if you were to limit it to just five that you can survive on as a bodybuilder, what would you say? I mean, I would have to go with, with creatine. When I first started using creatine, it was like, wow, this is this it's like, was money. It's like Decker. No, <laughs> it, it was it was great uh, <laughs> because you could just buy it over the counter. You don't have to go incognito, some secret mission to try and attain it. And it's cheapest supplement it's in the cheap, market. It's cheap, you know, even though mm-hmm. I think right now that's one of the highest. <laughs> expensive right now, right? The price yeah. goes up, but yeah, it's still for it's reason. Yeah, yeah, for good reason. But yes, it's a good um, performance, uh, you know, supplement. And tell people what, what it does exactly. It gives you the volume. Yeah, right? volume, strength. strength. I mean, it, it was proven time and time again with placebos and everything. And uh you can get that nice pump and you stay full for a long period of time. Right, right. Can you take it all the time, like throughout the year, every day? 
Uh, I would say that that's one question I will always tell people that a lot of these supplement stores, they'll just sell it, sell it, sell it. They will not say, you know, cycle it. Mm -hmm. I believe you should cycle it just like anything else in your body. Your body adapts pretty good to it, you know? Yeah, you should be having to stop because creatine goes to kidney. Mm -hmm. And if if not to stop, you know, because this creatine is heavy, go to the bottom of the kidney. So, some of the athletes are using creatine and at the beginning, they start, oh, my lower back is hurt. It's not lower back. It's mm. your kidney. Yes. Wow. It's your kidney. And so from many, creatine? Yes, from creatine. If you not stop and if you're not drinking water enough, when you when you take a creatine, you have uh -huh. to drink at least a gallon and a half water a day. At least, minimum. Wow. To circulation for water inside your kidney start to work. If the kidney is sitting in your, uh, if the um, uh, creatine is sitting in your kidney, yeah. they turn to stone. Really? Yes. yes. And again, it varies important. from That's person to person, <laughs> but a person who I has, had no idea about that. Wow. Yeah, a person has uh, kidney issues, yeah. mm -hmm. they are actually are the most highly the to have that effect. And the person not drinking water enough. Oh, enough water, yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> number, one is, number one is creatine, absolutely a must. Yeah, and like it's it. for volume and, and strength. What's what about number two? I mean, for me personally, I used it for so long, especially before um, the nationals, the 2000 nationals. Was uh, HMB is just I like HMB. What's HMB? Yeah, uh, you so still use it. This is over the counter. We're talking, right? Yes, yes, yes. I still use it. Actually, it comes in a product called uh, Juven. Juven. Juven has uh, essential product, which is. Uh, Glutamine, HMB. Uh, so what's HMB exactly? It's a, it's a chemical? Yeah, it's, it, it's a supplement. Again, it, it's good for energy, muscle building, recovery. HMB. Yeah. yeah. It's it's mostly for yeah. recovery. It's a, it's yeah. a recovery product that we yeah. featured on Generation Iron a couple yeah, times. Yeah, a lot like, of people don't know that building muscle, <clears throat> to build muscle, you have to have the recovery phase. You have to break down your tissues. And so you have recovery to is recover. important. Yeah. Do you take it before muscle? or after you work out? Before. Before you work out, they yeah. have some that are after too. I thought. Yeah, before, after. I was using it before and after. Yeah. Okay, so creatine number one, HMB. What's the yeah? Third? Again, that's just my favorite. No, People no, can argue course. it. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen too many HMB products, you know, around. Um, and that one is is again. I've used this. Is it a replacement of amino acids or is it no? No, no amino acid. That would be definitely different. right up there. Amino so number three acid, is amino acids. Okay, yes, well, BCA. I got that right. Um, again, is it just aminos? Because aminos, you, you can get it from food. Certain right. ones like branch chain, you need to take. It is specific aminos because it's different aminos, right? We have we have different amino, but yeah. specifically What's BCAA. 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 Yeah. Yes. BCAA, branch chain amino mm -hmm. acid. It's you cannot find it. Load up, load up, food. load up. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. It main. I mean, BCAA is good for recovery. BCA is good for building muscle. Okay. BCA it's good for transferring protein to the muscle. BCA is good for everything. If you ask me, I put the BCA in the top in the number one. Yeah. So BCA creatine. BCA uh, number one. Okay. Yeah. I think creatine is a very powerful product for someone who's like 21, 20 years old. Yeah. Because 21. the thing is, like, they're you know they're just their testosterone is through the roof, and then they're. Yep. Putting creatine right on, I mean, it looks like cre I've seen some of these young guys right out of college that do creatine and they look like they're on, you know, on some sort of PEDs, wow. um, like in terms of the difference. I mean, yes. I've personally seen it. I know some of them, too, but it's true. Big difference. I, really, I agree with that. Let's do two more over-the-counter supplements that you think oh, are key. I want to hear Esan. I said mine. What, what do you think? Esan, I want to <laughs> throw in one on top. Uh, I think uh, I think L-arginine or pre-workout. Yeah. Arginine it's, is good. Yeah, arginine, arginine, what does it do exactly? Ar arginine, it's um, uh, pump, energy. Uh, pump you. No, it's a blood flow. It's, it's blood flow. It's blood flow. It's exactly, you need it. Like a sea halus, but it's an amino acid <laughs> as well. Yeah, it's, it's, a, a, it's amino acid. amino acid. It's a one yeah. of the amino acid. It's the one of the uh, piece of the amino acid. But it's good to. So you to think buying it individually? Individually. Okay. Individually and take it the night before sleep. They increase yeah. the GH in the body. I used if, to use a ton of it, arginine and ornithine. Yes, when I was younger. Yes, they they actually work. Yeah. arginine at the night before sleep is actually help, help for increase and balance all hormones. Mm -hmm. And and mm -hmm. then at the, the workout before workout, if you take it, yes. you 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 pumping too much blood. 
to the, that muscle you work and you feel pump and you don't need Cialis. You don't need mm. Viagra. <laughs> so can we summarize the list? So we have yes. Yes. creatine. Creatine. BCAs. Yo. BCA. Uh, was the one A N A B C A. Oh, BCA and, 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 and O2. And O2 is a pre-workout. Is either that okay. or the Cialis. Arginine, Argin <laughs> Arginine or pre-workout. Okay. Yeah. And then the one you said H H B H M B H M B. H -M -B. All right, H -M -B. Yeah. For me, I will have on my list H M B and, and definitely a carbohydrate drink. Well, yeah. I mean, a supplement. Yeah. Is the protein powder crucial to protein? Is like that's that's like a staple. Yeah, but what Victor, I'll never forget what Victor told but, me. This is that years ago when we were doing Generation Iron. And Victor yes. told me, "Hey, Victor, how's, I told Victor how is important how important it is to take pre, uh, protein shakes." He's like, "Victor's like most important thing is that you eat." That's what I was gonna. That's yes. exactly. I always then, ate. I didn't start doing protein shakes until about twenty four years old. Other than I couldn't afford it before, <laughs> or I think it was because I don't want to bash supplement companies here. We not we don't do that. Generation Iron, but uh, <laughs> there was a particular one, big brand back in the days that was just all over. Their protein tasted like crap. <laughs> And it gave me the runs all the time. So I used it specifically as a laxative, oh, you shit. know, when I would be constipated. But it, wow. it was, uh, wow. th there were big companies. It's still pretty big, but the, some protein, the Some protein do that. Some protein, the mess up the stomach. I mean, protein to me is like a, a staple because in the morning, if you're like on the run, on the go, yes. you throw in some blueberries, almond shake or whatever, you know, you almond, I mean, milk, and you throw in a yes. protein shake. You know, and you're on the go. It's perfect because oh, no, they're perfect, especially for breakfast. A lot of right. people say I don't have time for breakfast, but you have at least three minutes to make a shake. Exactly, exactly. you can actually make a good shake. Throw some oatmeal in there, some yeah. fruits. Get on the train, drive, and and you don't have to stay home eating a. Food but if you have meal. time, definitely eat right. That's of the, course, you know, yeah. eat right. You know, but the food protein. first. Are there supplements that you see in every store or every website that are absolute? Not important in your opinion. Ooh, Good question. It's a lot of junk. Because you see so much. Because I'm saying, which ones are like you see everywhere, but it's like, if you think about it, pre workouts, right? Yeah. You drink coffee if you're, I mean, I mean it's not as strong. But. Again, pre workouts, I, I just, uh, I don't like them in particular. And a lot of times, I don't even like people that use them too much because they <laughs> tend to talk too much in the gym. <laughs> Why you talk so much, man? Don't talk to me, man. Work out. I mean, they take it to be social or something. I, I don't know. I, I have to say, I mean, when I started in, in, in lifting, I, I, my first product was Super Pump Max by Gaspari. When Super I took pump. that thing, I felt like I could fly. Like, <laughs> I literally felt, I know I felt the tingles. I felt all the shakes. Shout out to Roger Gaspari. Yeah, they so, call it Super Dump after a while. They don't give you like a, <laughs> the runs or something. No, I, I, mean, <laughs> I don't Come super on. Dump. I, I swear, super man. They don't call I mean, it Super Dump after a while. That's what I grew, That's what I like started learning about. Like That's what I kind of grew up on. You know what yeah. I mean? Super right. Pump Max. It worked man. for you then. And yeah. let me tell you, it got me into the gym. It, it did what it had to yeah. do. <laughs> but I can see how there's a lot of alternatives out there now in terms of pre-workouts, stim pre, you know, pre-workouts and all that stuff. And and you know even the RTDs out there are great. So, you know what is the best pre-workout? Plain rice and chicken, and one arginine. Try this. One arginine. I mean, what do you rice mean? as a carb. They sell it at GNC. Pork protein. Yes. I mean, try it. Try it. guys. Try it and then comment it below. Rice, chicken, and one arginine. Like in a shake or just you no, eat no. It? Eat your food one hour before workout. Loaded your body with food, and real food, which is carbs, protein. Mm. No pizza. And argent. <laughs> and argent. <laughs> or Café Bustelo. That's it. Some, some people eat. There you go. I got a Bustelo Perfect boost. brought it back. You know that. I got a Bustelo boost. <laughs> I grew up on that as well. That's it. Yeah. If we gave us coffee and we was like five. You're like tired, they put the coffee in you. That, like, that is you're a, not tired, you couldn't sleep. <laughs> that's, an underrated, that's an underrated pre workout yes. that that's people, my that's a New York staple as well. Yes. So, what other ones are bullshit out there? Which ones you would say you really don't need it? I think fish oil, uh, it's it's okay. I mean, I use the, the medicated version, which I think is way better. What about, uh, you know, like vitamin packs? Are they good? Vitamin, you take them. Packs. They're okay. You can use them. They're fine. It's kind of like a, just, just to take them, just in case. But uh, 
Can you do without them? I mean, if you're eating it healthy. Like a multivitamin. You prefer, you prefer multivitamin or individual vitamins? I mean, it, it's individual, you got to take so many. Yeah, I mean, there was a point that I was taking about 20, 60, 30. 70 pills? pills a day. day what? Yes. 60 you, pills a day? If you yeah. take individual. Wow. wow. I would take individual lot, because bro. of the strength, the potency. And then after a while, I stopped doing that and I just started doing just the IV drip. And mm. it's just more I've never done that before. It's good. Yeah, I'll hook you up, man. It's good. Yeah, I gotta it's try good. it. It's, uh, How often you gotta a do few it? Of them. I mean, right now, once a month is good enough. Once a month? Uh, I, I mean, heard it's good for hangover. Hangover, recovery. Allegedly, I heard. <laughs> I mean, sexual performance. Really? For everything. Yeah, it's a lot it's of direct it. goes to your blood. I mean, tablet, capsule, you have to take oh, it. I heard, I heard about it for sure. goes to your kidney. And yeah. There. Boom, a right? small amount goes to your uh, your uh, blood, but when you go IV, you know the direct vitamins goes to your blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean krill oil. People like krill because it, I think goes directly to your stream, yeah. bloodstream, as mm -hmm. opposed to omega. But yeah. a lot of them are have great effects. How heart, how you know heart yes. benefits and all that as well. I want to wrap this up today by talking about a subject that we get a lot of emails about, which is acne and, and back knee. From what I understand, a lot of a lot of bodybuilders yeah. they Ooh. suffer from it, right? In your opinion, what's causing the number one cause of that? Is well, it, yeah, well, is, I guess Vlad, I guess a good question would be: There's people that suffer from it because they're on PEDs, or they're right. not on PEDs. Because exactly. there's guys that I know that are not on PEDs that that do get a lot of acne, so. We're talking about adults, not, not teenagers. Yeah, right? adults, about adults, people yeah. over 21. Right, exactly. Yeah. That get acne as well, that are not on PEDs, they yes. get a lot of acne too. And then there's ones, of course, that Could are it be supplements, PEDs. like some kind of over-the-counter supplements, of course? pH balance of the body, mm -hmm. um, a lot of times. And like Edwin said, you know, doing PEDs and, and they shouldn't be. A lot of times they use it and their body reacts differently. They should know, they should just stop right away but they're so used to seeing that, the, you know, their muscles growing and they're feeling good and they're feeling strong. They, fa they fail to notice the physical effect, the look, and it's just, you're getting bad skin. Once you start getting bad skin, you start looking unhealthy. A lot of pros actually, I'm not gonna say names, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, I've seen it before. I've seen a lot of bad skin situations. Uh, I always, you know, I think when I first started bodybuilding, uh, I was lucky a lot of my friends were going to a statistician school and I was usually the guinea pig that had to practice, you know, they had to do the seaweed wraps and all, all that stuff. And I volunteered and it was so good because <laughs> it's something that I continued doing for a while, you know, so, but most bodybuilders will not do that. They, they don't want it. You know? So what do you recommend for someone who's not on PEDs, but has a lot of acne problems and is into the Acne, I, I say tanning helps a lot. Tanning. Yeah, tanning helps a lot. The sauna, infrared sauna, steam room. Uh, a lot of times the pores get, get Open up. trapped. Yeah, yeah, trapped, and all the oils get you know mm. trapped in their skin, and 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 it's just it's what well, they don't take care of, it, especially when it's in their back. They start creating these uh, the scars, mm -hmm. and and when they don't treat it, the scar tissue, and then it's just it starts well, you know, getting bad. I think a lot of pros don't care about that too much because they they put a spray tan and it covers it up, and it's like they can go on stage. It's and, not such a thing. Care builds about up it or though not. after a while. Of, course, can, of course, it builds up. But it's I'm not such a thing. They care or not? They cannot control it. Well, so they have to stop it. Right? It's, when when you when you take when you take when you're using the stuff juices and the your, juices. your blood, yeah, where your blood, your blood get. Uh, tick and your liver get damaged when your liver get damaged they're mm. leaking fat inside your blood when the blood get fatty the acne comes up that the person not taking anything but they have acne that means his blood has a lot of fat his cholesterol is up mm. he has to be checking his food First, diet, bring down your fat, bring mm -hmm. down your weight, bring down your fat, especially your middle section, and then see your acne is still there or not. Mm -hmm. But the person using the juice and they have acne, they cannot control it because the cholesterol co comes up, the um, fat leaking to the blood, and blood bring it to the um, uh, um, liver. It's very, very easy. It's, it's not such a thing uh, very hard to understand. My, also, the, uh, another big problem is uh, they just don't 
clean their backs, man. Jeez. I mean, you know, some, some, backs, of them, like some of them don't change the shirt, you know? They don't I mean, change the shirt. They don't the clean gym. their backs. And it's just don't like, change the bed either? Scrub it a little, man. You or, know? Or, or work out with the tank top and not put it the one towel in exactly one pad, mm. one bench you, you know, that that guy using two minutes ago. Yeah, it's, you know, clean it's those a benches. Too. It's and a clean those benches. Too. You know, yes. a lot of problems uh, uh, not cleaning in the gym. Also, is that contact dermatitis? You know, is that fungus once it gets to you on your feet, right? Not on your feet. You get it on your skin, on your, your skin. forearms, oh, on your back benches. Yeah. That's why I say clean benches. those you machines. You have to clean your rule of thumb. Stuff. Not everybody showers always. Not mm, that's the rule of thumb. Not, <laughs> don't assume everybody showers. They mm. don't. So do not assume. Yes, yes. Do not assume. Last thing it was assume. Not assume they shower. They don't. They're dirty, and it's just uh, you know. Some people have a fetish. They like laying down other people's sweat. You know, but that's another episode. That's a whole different episode. Over there, <laughs> that's another episode. <laughs> <laughs> we started with CLS and we finished with fetish. Well, I think I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should definitely do a DMP episode because that's a that's a people want to know about that. Yeah, yeah. I, I think covering yeah. the the extremes of bodybuilding and, and yeah. the guys that swear by it because usually right. those people that do use it and swear by it they're usually the first ones getting sick and not competing anymore. You know, so mm. it's like we got to play the long game over here. You know, marathon, mm. not a sprint. All right. All right, guys, thank you for joining us, Generation Iron Podcast. Until next week. Hey, guys, hope you liked this episode. Tune in next week. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you next week. Let me show you something. Redcon 1 stands for the highest state of readiness. We provide products for a soccer mom, a pro bodybuilder, all the way to a Navy SEAL. Anybody who wants to be at the highest state of readiness, we have products for you. You may be asking yourself, well, why? Why is it so great? It's because the products are so great? Yes. It's because the team is so great? Yes. But it's also because the people love what we're doing. They love what we stand for. Head to redcon1.com, check out our products, see what we're about, and join the movement.